So what's different about Tiong Bahru is that there's really a combination of both old and new. We get, you know, the traditional wet market and you also have all of your very modern new cafes. It had like a very nice charm to it. Like. It was very local. It reminded us about like our grandparents' places and stuff like that. So it was kind of interesting and almost like nostalgic. Hi, my name is Denise and I work in a tech company. My name is Daryl and I work in analytics. So we've been living in this house for about five months. This is a three-bedroom walk-up apartment of about 947 square feet located in Tiong Bahru. This apartment was built in 1949. It was in original state because they literally maybe only did like minimal renovations since they moved in. I think they just closed off one wall and replaced the windows. So, you know, the floors were in original state. They still had the tiles on the walls. Very original condition, you know, it's not what you'd expect from like a BTO or like most, most modern apartments. So, very old school. Then every time we walk up, we always see like the old auntie. She's always at her door, then she'll wave at us. Or like we can see our neighbors across the street. All the old people always like wave out the window, which is very fun. We basically mix and match a lot of things that we like. So we have like the colonial vibes from the blinds and we have the new age, so like the colours of the walls that we've kept and even the backsplash in the kitchen. We kept a lot of the original doors that were built way back in the 1940s. And also a very unique element of this house that really caught our eye when we first saw it were the ventilation blocks. You know, we added a clear acrylic piece. So the visually it still looks the same, but we can have aircon now. The original kitchen came with a very lovely arc entryway that is very popular these days. And it's one of those things that was set, but we let it go. The key consideration here was that because we cook a lot, we were very clear that we wanted a concealed kitchen. Because we actually incorporated the balcony into the master bedroom, we expanded it quite a lot. And we built two doors into the bathroom. Built a door from the living room so that it will be easy access for us and guests, as well as a door from the master bedroom. We only have one toilet in this house. What we did was we closed off the bathroom from the kitchen itself so that we could use that kitchen space as a whole. We didn't want guests to have to walk through our bedroom to use the bathroom. The only thing I say that we are lacking is a real storage option because most new apartments have a bomb shelter that people end up using for storage. We don't have that so we have to be creative with how we store our things. I've always been familiar with this area and I just feel really comfortable here. I guess to the old people it feels much more kampong because everybody is like closer and you know, you know each other. Thanks for staying till the end. Now if you like what you've just seen, do subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you get updates whenever a new video pops out. And if you'd like to have your home featured, feel free to drop us an email at hello at stackedhomes.com.